Hey everyone, it's uh, Lee, the number one RV idiot. Um, thought I'd show you where we've uh, landed now. We are in Franklin, North Carolina, up in the Appalachian Mountains, and it's beautiful. Um, we're at a um, RV park right outside of Franklin called the Great Outdoors RV Park, and I couldn't recommend it more. It's so awesome. Let me turn you around and we'll get a look. All right, so there's the Lee Lander. Here's our spot. It's got a nice wooden deck here. It's really neat. Um, here's my fully restored Jeep with her new off-road tires. You can see that the sights are not too close I mean they're not right on each other that's nice uh, winds all up along the hills and we're only about 45 minutes away from the Appalachian Trail which you have probably figured out from other videos I'm obsessed with um, I'm planning on doing an overnight hike this weekend if the weather will cooperate it's a little chilly here it got down to freezing last night right back in the 50s right now though and I'm gonna take Finn on his first overnight hike we'll see how that goes he's over here chilling he's loving this weather hey Finn you wanna go on an overnight hike with me you don't look too enthused yeah, we'll see. Alright. Spunky Monkey is hanging out at the picnic table. Lemmy's hanging out there. I accidentally left him out last night. He got a little cold. I hope that don't hurt him. Alright. Well, we'll get back with you later on all our fun and adventures in Franklin. Franklin, North Carolina. Pretty cool little town here. And uh, I'm getting ready to go into Outdoor 76 Outfitters. I need a new pair of uh, hiking shoes. The ones I've been using, I've been using for about seven years. And they're worn out. Finally came to that realization the last time I was hiking and slipped and busted my butt. So turn you around and we'll take a little stroll over here down Main Street Franklin a nice little town I hear the outdoor 76 here is really good at outfitting for uh, shoes and it says please use the other door that I just went by story of my life Alright, we're going to go in and see what we got here and I'll get back to you in a second. 
Hey, I'm at uh, Outdoor uh, 76 in Franklin, North Carolina. This is Rob. Uh, I call him the, sh the shoe guru because I've heard so much about him. So uh, my uh, hiking shoes that I was using, uh, I you know I only I day hike, I overnight hike, I do a, maybe a, a week long section every now and then. So I've had those shoes for a good five years, and they're just about out. Uh, I came in here since we're. Um, landed here in the RV and um, met Rob and he hooked me up and he taught me a bunch of stuff about shoes that I never know. For one, I've always thought I'm a size 10 and he, uh, he explained all the mechanics that go in to shoe size and it turns out I'm actually a size 12. Isn't that right? 12. So, yep. This is Rob. Uh, if you ever need to come and get shoes and you're near Franklin, you come here and see him. He will hook you up. Awesome. Anything you want to say? No, thanks for coming in. I, right. it, uh, the accolades mean a lot. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is the reason why we love doing what we do. When people are receptive and we're actually able to help folks out, yeah, it's that's awesome. And he's real passionate about what he does. He, you know, he's not Al Bundy the shoe salesman. He really likes it. <laughs> <laughs> he likes what he does here. And I, I'm one. I'm for glad. He sat down here with me what, a good 30, 45 minutes, and, and walked me through everything before I found a really good pair of shoes. So I'm stealing the Al Bundy thing. <laughs> okay. Thought about that. Anymore. All right. So uh, we'll talk at you later. So look at this. Even Franklin has uh, pictures of mountain esque stuff on their trash can. Oh, and I didn't think I got a good pitch of my packing shoes. Those things are so comfortable. They're Brooks. Ah. This is from the top of the Fontana Dam. I'm actually standing on the Appalachian Trail. It crosses this dam. That's Fontana Lake. Fontana Dam and I think that's a little Tennessee River not 100% sure on video bye guys have fun yeah, where are you hiking hmm? where are you hiking we're gonna hike up to Waya Ball then we're gonna hike to the Waya Shelter we're gonna hang out there for uh, the night and then we're gonna do some more hiking tomorrow down to uh, Burning Town Gap, and then hopefully you'll be there to pick us up. In North Carolina. Yep. You and Mr. Fin Fin. Fin. Fin Fin. Fin, you going hiking with Dad? Yeah. All right, let's go, bud. Bye, guys. Bye. Be safe. Be safe, be safe. Take care of my baby. Finn, you take care of Dad. All right, me and uh, Finn are up here. I don't know where he's at, down there somewhere. Finn? Uh, we're up at Windspring Ball. This is a little side trail off of the AT uh, in North Carolina, near Franklin. Um, Everyone talks about Waya Ball, which we're going to get to, and I know it's spectacular from what I hear, but uh, I like to see the little ones too, so... Here at Wyabald, uh, not Wyabald, Windspring Bald, uh, it looks like a communication station up here. TV antennas and, and stuff like that. Here, let me turn you around, give you a shot at it. Uh, see, we got all kinds of TV antennas. A bright sun. It's a great day for hiking. It's in the 40s right now, but when you're hiking, that warms up quick. I already had to take my puffy off. So, it's not quite as picturesque, but it's still pretty cool. And, uh, we're going to go back down here in a minute and rejoin the AT and head on to Wyabob. All right, we are on the AT now. There goes a the first white blaze I've seen today. And we're heading up to White Ball. First we're heading down a little bit, then up to White Ball. 
because the AT has many puds. Pointless ups and downs. I don't know if they're pointless. You get to see a lot of cool things, but I guess after you've done a billion of them, they kind of become pointless. All right, I'm going to put this up and hike. Okay, so um, normally I don't film on the uphills because it's pretty pathetic. But I think I will uh, let you in on uh, how I do this. So let me turn you around. All right, so that's it's hard to see on the camera. That's down. So when I was down there, what I did is I said, all I got to do is make it up to that green mossy stump right there, right? And then I catch my breath. And now, me and Finn, who doesn't seem to be having any problem, see up there. We're not going to Wyabald. We're just going to that white blaze up there. That's all. That's all we have to make it to. Okay? So... Let's go. <clears throat> See the wooden stairs here? Or the logs that the trail maintainers have put in? Can't say enough about trail maintenance crews. If it weren't for them, there wouldn't be a trail. Okay. You really can't see on a 2D camera how steep this is. But believe me, it's pretty steep. And guess what? Our hike's over. We made it to the White Blaze. How cool are we, Finn? We hiked. Oh, uh, you know, we might even do another hike. I was thinking, maybe up to that bend in the trail is a good hike. We'll think about it. All right, we're coming out of the woods here onto the bald. And Ben's tangled up. All right, come on. Up. All right. So we're tangled up. Hold on. Okay, here we go. It's a bald up there. Let's take a look over here. How's it going? Hey, good. All right, come on. This view from Wyabald Tower. You're like, oh wait, I don't see no tower. Hold on. There it is. We'll go up there in a minute. Look at this. Hey Finn, I have to get a picture of that. And met a little friend up here. All right, I'll give you some video when we go up in the tower. All right, Finn and I are going up the tower. Finn's pulling me up the tower. Keep going.
We are at the top of the tip. Oh my God, how beautiful. You're ramping me up. That's the way we came up. There's a parking lot up there, but we took the hard way and hiked up, didn't we? Only about two and a half miles out of the, the intersection for the other wall, which is something springs. I can't remember it. What an awesome 360. Of course, someone drew a penis on the sign. Although, if that's what their penis looks like, they should probably go to the doctor and have it checked out. Here we go. All right, here's some nice people I met. They gave me some trail magic. And what's y'all's trail's names? Well, I'm Wildflower. All right. Orange Blaze. I'm Pyro. All right, did all you guys do the uh, through hike last year or this year? Well, we've been working on it for 10 years. Oh, you've been section hiking. Okay, and cool. I, I had 24 different hiking buddies hike with <laughs> me, and these three were up in New England this uh, August with me, and when I finished the, the whole thing. So we've had a great bonding on the trail. Uh, did you finish at, on Katahdin? Or? I did. Oh, nice. September 2nd. Oh, that's awesome. That, that was awesome. And they were still open, I, get, I take yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Wow, Planet that's adventure. cool. So she was hoping to meet some of the southbounders that she had met when she summited. Okay. Uh, finishing up down here in Springer. So we're out here doing trail magic for the southbounders. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, we've met a few, but she hasn't run into any that she met when she was up there. They just barely missing each other. Are they further south than you or further north than you? A little you? Uh, uh, neck knife. Um, or knife neck. She's a little. I just missed her. She's a little further south. Yeah. Okay. So we were kind of very at the very tail end of the, the south at, bubble. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 She was just telling me about the the, the bubble here. So yeah. yeah, I saw. I mean, I watch a lot of YouTube uh, hiking videos, and I've seen uh, quite a few southbounders rolling in, into Springer right now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think they're trying to get home by Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to do Thanksgiving up here. I, I couldn't think of a better place, this especially with the COVID going on. Yeah, exactly. We'll have a blessed one. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for the trail magic. Oh, yeah. Great meeting. Okay. We're heading out from uh, Wyabalm. We had some lunch here. Met some really cool people. Now we're going to head on down the trail. Or up the trail, really. Keep going. And these are down, so I better turn this off. Hold on. All right, here's where we're hanging our hats tonight. This is um, Waya Shelter. So I think it's pretty new. It's nice. See, uh, Finn's already taken up residence in there. Should I call him by his trail name? FN2187. Um, there's not a lot of flat tent spots, so I think we're going to... Rack it up here in the shelter tonight. Does that sound good to you, Finn? Huh? Blink once. Okay. That means yes, it does. Nice shelter. A couple benches here. Some cooking tables, which we will take full advantage of in a little bit. And the ever popular Paribe. Alright. Um. No bear cables, so I had to do bear bear bag hang here. Uh, you can see it up there. I got some more video on the bear bag hang. Nice little fire pit area down here, which I will probably take full advantage of later. And there's Finnerbinner. Binner. 
he's always worried I'm going to run off. There's water source right across. Not too bad. All right. I'll get some chores done. Then we'll relax. Well, I hung my bear bag on the first shot. Which is not too bad. The only problem is that lens a little too low. I think critters could get that. So I'm going to have to find a better one. <laughs> you liking that one? Mountain water? All right. Yeah, it's filling up. Ah. Another water bottle down. Alright, so there's a nice pipe. Mountain spring not too far from the shelter. This is always nice when you have a little pipe coming out. It's pretty easy to fill up. And I will drink. I won't drink this until I put filter on it. Then Dogs seem to have pretty good cast iron stomachs there, so I ain't too worried about him. Alright. We got us two uh, liters of water for drinking and cooking tonight. What do you think, fan? What you think? You just going to show me your butt? Alright. Head back to the shelter. Alright. It's, uh... Time to add some North Carolina dirt to my AT necklace. I already have Virginia and Georgia in there. And unlike last time, I'll remember that this thing's magnetic. And I'll stick it right there. I don't know where it's at. Alright, we're at the junction of the AT and the Wyatt Shelter. And this is AT right here. Let's find some good candidate dirt right here. What do you say? Angle this down a little more. Just stick and poke it in there. Let's get a little more. You now have North Carolina AT dirt in there. Ta-da! All right, we're waking up here at Waya Shelter this morning. And my shelter mate Steve or Sir Stops a lot and Declan with no trail name because his Winkle. name's <laughs> what was it? Winkle. Winkle, okay. <sighs> I don't know, I stayed pretty warm last night. How about you guys? Yeah, nice yeah. and toasty. Yeah. Warmer than it was in Smokies. Yeah, wasn't bad at all. And then there's Finn, F in two one eight seven, who kept all the bears away from us. Once getting them geared up, I'm sure I'll be the last one out of here. Ooh. I decided to let Finn run on the long leash this morning, so he keeps running up ahead. And then he'll turn back to wait for me. He's being a good dog. He's turning into a good trail dog. He's staying mostly on the trail. He'll go sniff a few things every now and then, but he comes right back to the trail, which is a major improvement from when I first started taking him out. You're good, go ahead, bub. So he goes up a little ways and he looks back, waits on me. I have to give it to him. I don't think I could let Sawyer do this. I think Sawyer would be two miles ahead of me right now.
and stop and turn. Good dog. Alright. Here's a little view after we came up Licklop Gap at the top of this mountain. Ben's been having the time of his life today. Roaming pretty much free. You liking this, Finn? Hmm? You want to stay out here for days and days and days? Finn. I can answer that question. I want to stay out here for days and days and days. But alas, I still have to work. So, it's on to Burning Town Gap where Michelle will pick us up. And back to work tomorrow. But this is more than I've ever got to do, so I'm loving every bit of it. So this is um, in North Carolina. I just picked up Lee and Finn from their hike and we're just taking a little drive and found this beautiful spot. Let me zoom in here. It's got this beautiful waterfall all the way up. You can't really see. It just keeps going up. You can't see um, the top like we can, but it comes down into this great beautiful creek and there's people fly fishing let me zoom back out here sorry about my wiggle mess but there's people fly fishing all up and down here and it's just beautiful it really truly is so here's the at coming down to the i can never say this right not hala outdoor center i'm just calling it the knock the noc South to Georgia, north to Maine. I gotta get my sleeve in. Ready for my close up. So the, the trail runs down here. That's a little offshoot of the Nathahala River. That's a little creek. But the real river's over here. So as you can see, there's a white blaze on there. That's the actual trail. Comes right across here. Come on, Finn. Finn, come on. I need you to... Sorry about the gyrating. Gotta make sure Finn don't run out to the road. All right, ready? So the trail is going right over here. And as you can see, my Jeep's here. I didn't hike all the way here. We only did an overnight. Up by Wyatt Bald. But you can see there's an outfitter store. And there's the Natala River. And there's some chick looking hot sitting by the river. And there's a River's End restaurant where we just had lunch after I got off the trail. And then... The trail actually goes over here. Are you coming? See the white blaze? Okay, what was that guy that was just behind me? Look at that. How beautiful is that? So this thing is, they got water or kayaking, rafting. It's a lot more summer really oriented, but they're still open. I'm not really sure what those are for. I think I'm gonna go in the outfitter here before we leave and get myself a bigger sport, a longer sport. My sport's too small. I keep getting my hands down into my mountain house minnows. Oh, I wish I could take partake in that bar. They're not open anyway. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. 
Alright, and then uh, it's a big stopping off point for people that are through hiking. They have cabins and stuff here you can stay at. We got a zip line place. And if I'm looking at this right, I believe this is the way the trail goes. Wait, come here, Finn. Come here. Although I'm not 100% sure about that. Seems like this is the place it would go. See some of the cabins up there? Oh, cool. There's a railroad track up there. Come on. Ben, come on. I wonder if that's the trail. That is the trail. Train tracks. That's the first shelter. Oh, I wish I could just keep going and going and going. And there you go. The trail goes right up here by these cabins. Boom, 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 boom. There's a very faded white blaze. And that's the knock. Well, our happy hikers are home. I'm in their bed sound asleep. Both of them are warm and cuddly after a successful hike. Glad they're getting some sleep picked them up yesterday. Both are had a great time and wonderful adventure. Finn did not want to get in the Jeep. We had to actually lift him and put him in the Jeep because he tried to he just wanted to go more hiking. Of course, I'm videoing and talking, so you can't hear why I'm awake and they are not. Mr. Snorri Von Snorri Pants. Anyways, I forgot to get some video when I picked them up after their hike yesterday. So ah! <laughs> did I scare you? You did. Hmm. I forgot to get video when I picked you up after your hike, so I thought I would get video of you sleeping your hike off. Cool, man. Yeah. Finn didn't budge. <laughs> Can I have some sleep? Sure. Yeah. Bye. See you down the road. <laughs> One of the hard things about living the full RV life is recycling because not every place you stop at has got uh, places for recycle. So we bought this recycle uh, little bin thing to put stuff in and then you got to basically search around the towns where you're at to look for a recycle center. <sighs> Whoa, it looks like all this stuff is going to have to be separated. Ooh, that's fun. Uh, I guess I'm dedicated enough to do it. All right. All right, hold on. It's kind of nasty, but 
Hey. Save the planet. Hey everyone, it's the RV Idiots first Thanksgiving in the ray. We got the parade on up here. We got some fixings going on here. Alright, so our oven's not totally compatible with the big turkeys that we usually do, even though we have a big turkey in there. But Michelle is going to do a what's it called? Turkey roulade? We're going to break that down and we're going to roll it up with stuffing and ham inside and all kinds of seasoning. And we're going to give it a shot. Here's our mushrooms getting ready to go. I'm going to fry up some sausage for the stuffing. She makes the best stuffing ever. Um, Alright, well, I'll show you what it looks like later. What's going on, babe? I am attempting to debone a turkey for our turkey dinner roulades. Turkey roulade? Yeah. For Thanksgiving Day? Huh? Yeah, I don't know how successful that's going to be. I think it's going to be great. It looks like you're doing a wonderful job. Our first Thanksgiving in the RV on the road with our first deboned turkey by ourselves and our first turkey roulade right yep. i guess i should stop distracting you yeah, all right talk to you in a minute oh i smell ham burning oh, <laughs> hey everyone uh, these RV idiots have broken down the turkey and uh, it's now in a roulade, is that it? Roulade. roulade. Roulade form. So it's turkey meat, we got ham in there, we got stuffing in there, seasoning, everything. It's all rolled up, tied up. Uh, and now we're going to put it in the oven and let it cook. Because we could not get a full turkey in here for sure. Wait, you got to put the turkey legs in too beside it if you can. Babe, I can't. Okay. They can just go in after because they're okay. for day after anyways, right? Yep. All right. See it in two hours. Okay, here's the RV. It's Thanksgiving dinner in the woods. There's our turkey. I keep wanting to call it roulade. Roulade. And green beans, turnips, although I don't eat that. I want to show those. Oh, the ever popular deviled eggs, little cranberry sauce over there. Oh, yeah. There's also crescent rolls, but they're still in the oven. But we're going to start eating anyway. All right. So, we're going to eat and watch the cowboys whoop up on the redskins. Ain't that right? 